Hey guys, uh, just trying to go live here for a few minutes. Well, um, just started doing a Marc Messier collection. Um, when I was a kid, uh, it's weird. Marc Messier was my favorite hockey player, but uh, I collected a lot of Wayne Gretzky because, um, you know, I guess it was a more desirable card uh, for back in the day. Still is. But um, yeah, I, um, I got some Marc Messier cards uh, from when I was a kid and um, actually just started getting back into just started up really collecting uh, Marc Messier. And uh, there's a few cards I had from when I was a kid. Um, but uh, now I have about 10 cards, maybe, uh, if you count some of the stuff um, that I've got on the way, about mm, 10 or 15 cards total, maybe 10 cards in here uh, in the binder right now, but um, having some fun with it. Uh, it's exciting. Um, so what prompted this was um, it's actually getting more and more difficult to find anything with Gary Carter and... Um, Sam, what up, man? And um, it's getting more and more difficult to find anything Gary Carter. So um, it's, um, I guess it's a way of reinvigorating my collection overall to try something new and start something new. Um, it's a little bit daunting. Um, part of the turnoff for collecting something new has always been, uh, one, detracting from the focus of my Gary Carter collection, but two, uh, the fact that I'd be so far behind on collecting anybody new, um, which was always like, oh, it'll never be what my Gary Carter collection is. But uh, who really cares? You know, um, if you've got a couple of decades of collecting, you know, to go, does it really matter? And um, be it doesn't have to be um, the world's finest collection. So I consider my Gary Carter collection to be of a world class variety, if you will. Um, but this collection obviously is fledgling and uh, it's exciting. So um, yeah, I'm excited about it. And uh, again, like I said, it's, it's almost like a way of reinvigorating my Gary Carter collection by uh, looking at it from, you know, just starting out again. Uh, it's easy to lose focus on, you know, what it's like to be at the start of something when you're so close. Uh, I wouldn't even say to the end because you're never at the end when you're collecting, but um it's certainly a, a different perspective. Let me say that. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I grew up an Islanders fan actually, uh, as a kid and, um, uh, but I always appreciated Mark Messier. I guess I really knew about him well when he came to the Rangers and I just appreciated who he was and, you know, how he held himself in news and, uh, on the ice. Um, so I, I wound up picking up some cards of him. And um, I'm super excited about this. I think it's I think it's really fun. So I'll um, yeah, I'll start again. It's really sparse, but this is what I've got so far. So I'll show this. So um, I'm not going to go to the national this year. I've made the decision to not go, um, even if it is held. Uh, as it's supposed to in December. Um, I just don't think it would be wise to go to um, one. I live here in New Jersey where it's, it's pretty much like the hottest spot other than New York uh, during this virus. So um, in two um, being that the national will be held in Atlantic city uh, and three being that it would be during what we you know call out here flu season or everywhere you call flu season. But uh, I just don't think it would be wise and I would feel bad if I, you know, brought the virus back to the house, especially at that time. So my wife gave me the green light to, uh, I was going to have a decent amount of money to spend there. And, uh, my wife gave me the green light to go ahead and get this set, which was on, uh, on offer on eBay. So it's a uh, complete cards one and two of the captain C for Messier. So I picked that up. And uh, it's basically the, a huge, nice kickoff to the collection. And this one here I really thought was cool because, um, I mean, I don't the company is, you know, any of the major brands or anything. And I think it's just a guy starting out, you know, maybe in his own house. I don't know anything about this company, but uh, the bottom line is I thought the card was cool. So it's got a Lawrence Taylor jersey in there. It's got a Marc Messier. And um, it's a one-of-one from the guy that's producing it. So... 
And um, so, you know, I decided to get this thing because I started you know, collecting and uh, that patch is really sweet. Um, what was really cool about it was that it was a complete set of the patches. So Sam's thinking the same thing about, uh, you know, waiting for Chicago. And uh, yeah, I, unfortunately it pains me to uh, make that decision, but I think it's the wise decision, um, particularly, you know, uh, what we're dealing with the unknown um, during the whole coronavirus situation. Um, it's very real, it's very dangerous. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, um, I don't want to, I don't want to bring that here and, and bring it home potentially. Um, so over here, this would be a card I had from when I was a kid. That was pretty cool. So that's 90, was it 91 score? Again, I don't have anything of major value outside of maybe that patch. These two I had, uh, I can't tell you if I got these as a kid or if I got these out of a box of cards I got, you know, while living here in New Jersey. But uh, either way, they're um, older in my collection. I always really liked this pro set. I remember this set as a kid. This is probably my favorite hockey set as a kid. Yeah, that's the other thing, Sam, is it's really close to Christmas now, you know. Yeah. There's just a lot of things working against it. And honestly, I, I wonder if they're even going to have it, you know, especially if there's 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 flare ups now and it's starting to spike again. So, um, yeah, these are these are cards I got from uh, uh, 1996 when Wayne Gretzky first came. And I thought it was cool that Mark was on the card. So this is one of my uh, I know that I got these cards at the time. It's like my Gary Carter collection where, um, you know, you find a card and, you know, your guy's on it. And you can pick it up. And there's this one. I thought this was super awesome. So that's a one-of-one one artist sketch. I thought that was really cool. I just like the color of it. Um, so it was a really unique looking card. So that's pretty cool. And then I got this fan-made card. It's pretty cool. It's like a 56 uh, tops throwback style. And the guy who created it, I asked for the number 11. And I've got two Gary Carters like that from him in number eight uh, from the same seller. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the collection as of right now. Um, I know it's you know, modest, but um, I think that's the fun part of it. Everything that I get would be new in the collection. And the other side of it is I'm not going to do what I did, uh, what I do for my Gary Carter collection. Uh, my goal is to not have uh, multiples uh, in the same way. So if I could just get one of each card uh, that I come across as opposed to picking up bundles, unless uh, um, I appreciate that, Sam. Um I finally found a bubble mailer. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, this one I'll keep a little bit more modest in the, um, uh, my Gary Carter collection as a kid, you know, it was always about uh, getting multiples and uh, that's just the way I collected with him. And I'll continue doing that. And uh, junk here, it doesn't matter what card, I love them all. But uh, with this collection, I think I'm gonna keep it more modest and just try to get one of each, um, more like a realistic collection than my Gary Carter collection is. Um, and, uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be, um, it's motivational to try to, you know, start something fresh. And I found some cards that I really liked, um, in the process. So I'm real happy with that. And, um, yeah. So other than that, I'm going to try to get some packages out to people as well. Um, my work will come to an end school year will come to an end on Thursday of this week. So I'll um, see if I can get stuff in the mail on uh, Friday or Saturday or something like that and see if I can get stuff out to people. And um, I've got, uh, got my card table, set up a new folding table in the basement um, and put all you know the teams into stacks and everything and um, see what I can get out to people in the, uh, in the weeks coming. And uh, you know, 
try to hit some people up uh, with some unexpected stuff and get some stuff out to people that were expecting stuff from me. So, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just really cool. I'm just really happy to, uh, really happy to start this. Um, so yeah, I decided to go live and, uh, you know, show you guys what's going on in my neck of the woods. I just got the binder and I was waiting on getting this binder. I ordered it off of Amazon. So, um, wanted to see if I can get the binder uh, put together and uh, see what I can start getting in there. Um, and what's, um, what's different about this is, um, you know, whereas Gary Carter is a hall of famer, uh, Mark Messier is considered, you know, one of the top 10 best uh, top 20, at least best hockey players. And uh, it might make collecting him a little significantly more expensive and difficult, uh, but we'll find out. Now, I've been finding stuff that's pretty reasonable, and um, you know, I'm trying to focus around uh, certain years where I can just start at a focal point and just kind of move out. I know that those are scattered, but those were um, you know one-offs, if you will, some of those that I picked up. So it'd be a little bit more difficult. Um, and again, that Captain C set uh, was a large purchase that um, you know I, I was able to spend that due to not going to the national this year. So um, yeah, not too many, uh, not too many of those things going to happen uh, anytime soon, but it uh, should be nice and fun. Um, <clears throat> I'm not part of any hockey group, so uh, maybe I should start looking into all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know the game inside and out, but um, I will say that it is probably the best spectator sport to go to in my opinion. Um, my wife and I, uh, when we used to go up to Providence uh, for vacations, used to see the Providence Bruins. And um, yeah, it's just a fun sport to sit down and watch. <clears throat> so... Oh, cool. I just got a notification, Sam, that uh, you had sent a, a care package to Dustin, which he apparently loaded up. Yeah, uh, it's 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 definitely. Uh, I agree with you, Sam. It's the best spectator sport there is. Um, if you're gonna go live to to uh, an event, that's awesome. Last game I went to was a uh, Rangers Islanders game in the Garden, which I thought was really cool. Um, I was thinking about um, becoming a fan again of, uh, of a team. Uh, again, I grew up with the Islanders, but the Montreal Canadiens have Gary Carter's number retired in their, in their rafters. So I, I'm a little torn in all directions. The Rangers are access, mo most accessible to me other than the Devils. Um, I know I live here in New Jersey, but um, the Devils have always been the outside team to me. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's, it'll be an interesting, uh, decision to, or I could just be one of those people that's just a fan and, you know, likes to watch, but, uh, I don't know, I, I kind of want to latch onto a team and, and see, you know, and see it through, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And, uh, I wonder if, uh, Messier does, um, TTM or something like that. Maybe I could send some cards out to him. <clears throat> there you go. So. Sam's a Devils fan. And again, I can appreciate that. I mean, I've been here long enough. You'd think that I would latch on to one of the teams here, but uh, I grew up in New York. So uh, teams are a little bit more ingrained from there from when I was a kid. Um, so. <clears throat> yeah. Other than that, um, no real major pickups in the Gary Carter collection. Uh, just a little, you know, little cards here and there. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing worth me uh, breaking out anything. I, I'm probably going to keep that all to like updating the binders and if I get mail days and stuff like that. I've been really bad about mail days, um, loading them up, but I have been sending people thank you notes and stuff like that. But uh, Tom T just sent me something nice, a uh, nice group of cards, uh, put them all in um, uh, semi rigids, which was really cool. And uh, that brings me to another topic about uh, like uh, protective holders. I got to say, I'm, I'm more of a fan of uh, semi rigids than uh, top loaders. Uh, I feel like they hold on to the cards nicer. It's tighter. And um, maybe it's not as thick, but um, you can also slide them into uh, 
the five by seven um, sheets that I have uh, for postcard size things. So I kind of I kind of like the semi rigids better. And then I know there's a lot of guys out there struggling to find top loaders. And I wish that there was somebody who lived uh, relatively close to me because uh, I have tons of top loaders that I can just unload onto somebody. Uh, they're actually taking up a lot of space in my Gary Carter uh, um, um, area where I store my cards. So it'd be a nice to clear out that draw and, uh, you know, turn that into, uh, you know, turn that into usable space again. But yeah, it's the top loaders. So Sam's been a fan since he was a kid. Yeah, that, I feel like a lot of people were talking. RSR, what up, buddy? I was uh, I was hoping you were going to go live today, RSR. I don't know. You know, I hope that uh, Miss Sue is doing well. And uh, I know that you had posted up about uh, she's doing a lot better but still in pain. But, um, yeah, I don't know. RSR, are you going live today? Because I, I'm my, my, my Sunday uh, with regard to YouTube is wrapped around uh, – you going live and I uh, really look forward to that. I was sorry that uh, I missed Gary yesterday. Crazy for cardboard. 30 minutes. All right. That's what I want to hear. And I'll be right there. And um, yeah, I was sorry. I missed Gary. I always get the, do you guys have this problem? Maybe it's, maybe it's my internet, but I'll get a notification that somebody went live hours after they went live. And even though I double checked yesterday on Gary crazy for cardboards, um, bell status, and it says all, all notifications, and I'll get a notification for him literally, and it'll say went, you know, six hours ago. I'm like, why? Um, and I know he's in the mornings during the week. I can't go on during the week because I'm working uh, at the hours he's working. But like I said, when the school year ends on Thursday uh, afternoon. Um, Starting on Friday and Saturday, I'll be able to catch him uh, in the mornings again, um, you know, barring, you know, any uh, child care and stuff like that. But uh, I really look forward to watching Gary in the mornings. I really find it therapeutic to just listen to somebody sorting cards and just having casual conversation with people coming in and out of there. Um, and again, I think RSR puts on a great uh, casual, nice uh atmosphere so i look forward to that in less than 30 minutes now we'll be able to <clears throat> get in there and uh, take a look so but yeah I'm, I'm i'm really looking forward to uh you know beefing up this mark messier collection and uh you know taking it slow and there's nothing wrong with taking it slow so i started out heavy um so rsr saying the same thing all right so it's not just my slow internet or something like that but i started out heavy with this one this is a i guess rare find from mark messier and i was able to i was thinking about how best to put this into my binder and uh so i'll keep this on top so it's not you know indenting other cards and you know keep a folder in between and a couple of uh uh you know pages uh in between this and the um rest of the cards so it doesn't you know again cause indentation on any of it and um you know started out you know i've got plenty of pages to go and i'll try to do it by year and separate but uh, i'll probably be able to fit everything in this binder for a good while moving forward um and i look forward to catching more of the live i find myself watching more and more live uh than anything else and i've been very bad about catching up on people's uh, stored videos. Um, that's usually out of necessity. Uh, if somebody's live, I can catch it a lot better than uh, catching up on something, which I might be able to do at night, but then you know, other guys like back in the game collecting are going live, and I really enjoy that. Uh, Jimmy Guns last night, um, which is the place to be on Saturday, and then Friday you have Eloy. Um, so, again, these are, you know, um, I know, you know, certain nights are carved out and certain days are carved out for certain live streams that I know are going to happen. But I felt bad about missing Gary, particularly yesterday. And I got the notification. Uh, his notification I got yesterday was like the stream ended 16 minutes ago. I'm like, why would I get that? And then during the week, I'd get like six hours ago it ended. Like, why would you tell me six hours after that? Um, but again, uh, it's partially my fault, too, for you know, I know that he's going to go live in the morning. I just can't get to him during a work week. But, uh, 
yeah, so, you know, I'll, I'll be at the uh, RSR stream in a little bit. It looks like it's about 20 minutes now. And, um, yeah, I'm just really excited about uh, starting out with the Marc Messier collection. And uh, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of fans out here that probably collect. But uh, that's what I also wonder, too, is, is hockey one of the heavier collected um card communities or is it one of the lighter because if i have to look at it i feel like hockey card prices are a little bit depressed when compared to baseball um and football um in comparison uh basketball seems to have decent prices and high prices for guys um but i was surprised to see like you know how much stuff i could pick up relatively cheaply for mark messier um and again, I'm not looking at I'm not looking at uh, any high dollar stuff. I'm trying to keep it within the dollar fifty cents, you know, two dollar range on a lot of things, and uh, so I could build up. But the cool thing is that I'm just so not used to Jeff. What up, man? I'm up against golf. I uh, appreciate that, man. Uh, so yeah, Jeff, I started out, uh, you know, doing the Mark Messier collection. I don't know if you saw at the the head of the stream, but uh, I'll show this. I'm really happy with this. Really excited about it. Is the uh, I got this patch set. I, so I won't be going to the national this year, even though it's right here in my backyard in Atlantic City. I just don't think it would be wise during the coronavirus, as particularly the flu season. And so, as Sam pointed out, so close to Christmas just wouldn't be wise for me to, to do that. I just don't want to be bringing home any of that stuff to the family. But I, I started collecting Marc Messier amongst other cards um, in that collection. Those are just a couple. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, it, I, it's what's so different. It's so, uh, so unique. I can't do it. I, I've, I've spoken with my wife about it. I just feel like it's the best decision. Um, uh, you know, the way it is out here, um, seeing it firsthand in the, in the New York, New Jersey region, it's bad. Um, the way that it's spread so rapidly and uh, how fast people can decline with it. Uh, I just, I couldn't bring that home to the family. And I'm not, I'm not saying anybody doing that's being irresponsible. I'm just saying that's, um, that's the way I feel about it. That's the, uh, that's the choice I'm making. You know, people make their own choices and decisions. There's no judgment from me on that. Um, for all I know, it might be, you know, it might be quiet by then, but, um, I think that's, that's the best decision I can make for my family right here. Um, <clears throat> on that matter for, you know, for all, um, for how I feel about it right now. And, uh, I don't think I'm going to change my mind on that. Um, and again, that uh, Captain C was uh... no. I, you know, I, I Jeff, I grew up an Islanders fan, believe it or not. Um, I just really appreciated Mark Messier when I was a kid. Um, I always thought he seemed like a nice guy uh, in interviews, and uh, I liked the way that he uh, led on the ice. And I, I it's weird. Um, it would be like the equivalent of me liking a Yankee, even though I'm a Met fan, and. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't explain. I gravitated toward him, I guess, because he was, you know, constantly the one being interviewed in the news. And I saw him. And uh, the other thing, you know, I've seen some clips of him on YouTube recently, too. And, the, you know, the more I get to like him. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited about it. And again, it's it's a strange experience collecting somebody new. And uh, I had some cards when I was a kid. Um, I just never went, you know, heavily into it because it was always Gary Carter. If I had any money, you know, during the week, I would collect Gary Carter as a kid. Um, but uh, everything that I see is new. So that's that's like a brand new experience now. You know, when I surf the uh, the Internet for cards, um, it's generally Gary Carter stuff. I'm like, oh, I have it. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'd like another one of those or another 10 or 50 or 100 of them. Um yeah. So, and again, you know, not only do I, I'm not a fan, I don't have anything against the Yankees, you know what I mean? But, um, I, yeah, I, I just, they're not my team and, uh, I really can't stand Derek Jeter, <laughs> but, uh, it's not even because he's good. I always, I always found him to be like, um, um, disingenuous when, um, when talking to the press, that's just, just the, always the impression I got from him. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I was um, 
I'm, I'm excited about it. And like, like I said, everything that I see is something that I don't have. And um, I think it's fun that you can build up so many cards. Paulie, what up? Well, if you're talking about the captain, I mean, you're talking about Messier. But, uh, I mean, if you're talking about, you know, that other guy who thinks he's a captain, that's, uh, that's Derek Jeter. Um, <clears throat> uh, the thing that uh, Derek Jeter always rubbed me the wrong way, like he was arrogant. And, uh, yeah, man, started a new collection, Tim. And, hey, Tom, what's going on, man? And, uh, yeah, so I just, you know, started this up. And um, I'm, I'm excited about it. And um, again, it, it's, it's so different that it's a new perspective. Um, I can surf all day long and not find anything new on Gary Carter, but uh, I can immediately jump on and find hundreds, thousands of cards I don't have of Messier, which I think is new and exciting. And for the most part, like I said, they're relatively cheap uh, where I'm hunting. So, yeah, this is exciting, guys. I appreciate you guys jumping in here and saying hello to me. Um, I know that in about 15, 20 minutes, I'll be jumping over to see RSR. I hope you guys will be there, too. Um, you can see his logo just a little higher. It looks like R2-D2 up there. Um, and I'm going to check out uh, – I love his live auctions. So the family's just great. Sports, what up? And um, I, don't, I don't know how many guys were at the uh, Jimmy Guns auction yesterday. Saturdays are awesome. And all throughout the week, if you got uh, time, go check out uh, Back in the Game Collecting, Bit G. Uh, real good dude. And uh, absolutely Eloy on Fridays. And um, no, nah, man, RSR, I love you, man. It, it's, you, guys are, you guys are awesome. And uh, always, always just so courteous and so calm. Uh, it's always a pleasure to go there, man. And... Um, yeah, I got, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually like a stupid story with that. So I got, uh, I got a new clipper, and uh, I had another one. And I was like, you know, uh, I gave my dad a haircut a, a little while back. And I was like, you know, instead of me bringing this clipper over to his house all the time to give him a haircut, um, I could just get him one, or I can give him my older one. I take really pristine care of this stuff. I got the blade wash. I got it all. You know, I got the gear lube, you know, you, you unscrew it. You, I mean, I got the, I got the, um, the Oster, like the professional barber one. And, um, I was like, all right, you know, let me clean this thing up and, and, you know, give it out to them. And I'll, I'll take this newer one had two variable speeds. And I was like, Oh, this is pretty cool. And then, um, I must've put, I don't know how I did this. I must've put the wrong clip on the, uh, the clipper. And I cut it, and I'm like, man, that's really short. But you can't go back once you, you know, you slice it through. So I, I must have brought it down to about a three. Usually I use about a seven. I uh, try to try to give it some, you know, a little bit of length and uh, let it grow a little bit, you know, stuff like that. Um, and uh, <laughs> Paulie's never heard of RSR, but um, whenever I see a RSR's logo, I always think of R two D two. And um, yeah, just like, I was like, oh, man, I cut this way too short. So now it's like finally starting to grow back in uh, time. Everything grows faster anyway. So um, <clears throat> that night I was like, well, if my hair's short, I can cut my beard short too. And I got this stubble now. It looks, it, it is what it is. Um, but if there is one positive development, I, uh, I haven't really been snacking very heavily during this uh, crisis. So I feel like I actually lost a little bit of weight. I could use the stand a little bit more, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just, um, I don't know. I, I like it when, when things are a little bit more, you know, uniform in the same length. I used to, you know, I used to do that where it'd be the fade and stuff like that. And then, and I just prefer it. Shave it bald. It's a fine shaped melon. I'd look like, uh, I'd look like uncle Fester if I shaved my head. Yeah, I feel like I had lost a little bit, but uh, not a lot, not enough. Let's say that uh, I could stand to lose about thirty more. Uh, thanks, Paulie. Appreciate that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, dude. Uh, you know, it's just uh, I go no guard these days, Tom. <laughs> Tom's looking good, though. I gotta say, man, with the beard, with the head, I, he's looking good, man. Um. I always just picture Tom being like this, like six foot two guy. And he's just, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of picture him being like this kind of imposing, like the larger guy. And, uh, 
He's got the bald head. He's got the beard. Very distinguished. So I don't know, Tom. I'm, I'm liking it, man. I always just picture, picture you as like a bigger guy. No, no GQ for me yet. I uh, I got to lose about 30 more. And I think I can do it. Maybe I'll go on more walks. Dude, you reach that certain point where it's like you want to run and, and jog and stuff, but like you're too winded to do it because you're too out of shape. Like that's where I'm at. And if you just start and get yourself into a pattern, like you might be okay, but like, I can't do it because I'm too out of shape. Yeah. There you go. Boom. I, I pegged Tom for that. And uh, there you go, man. I, I picture him to be about as about it. Like I said, six foot two about, you know, just a, just a big dude. And um, I mean like, you know, like a well-built dude. And um, yeah, no, that was, that was like spot on right there. He only goes on beer runs. Yeah, no, I, uh, but I'm at that point where I'm like, uh, you know, it would, it would be nice to um, get out there and jog or something like that and, you know, do better. Um, trying to, you know, it's funny how, you know, everybody always warns you when they're, you know, like your parents and stuff like that. They're like, you know, when you get older, your metabolism slows down and you can't eat as much as you used to or the stuff that you liked as much anymore. Um, and I'm so, I'm like guilty of that, like crazy where it's, you know, you, you like the taste of something. So you're not even necessarily hungry. You just, you just really like the taste of it. So I got to stop that. And I've been doing a better job about that too. Yeah, Tim. No, man, it, you don't have to go crazy with sets. I'm, I'm just, uh, just Messier. Um, and, um, you know, Tim a while back, he was very similar to what Tom T did. Tom T, um, I know I missed some of the cards you sent me in the, in the, what happened with that man? I went live with the stream yard and then it didn't take or something like that. And, but Tom sent me everything in semi rigids and stuff like that. Tim, Tim and Tom are like the same guy, just, you know, in different regions of the country. Uh, Tom sent everything out nice and neat and it was well, well taken care of. Tim did the same thing to me. Sent me this huge box of all, all, all cards. And he just, he listens and, and he was, he was paying attention to all the different people mentioned and he sent me a whole bunch of everything. And, and, but it was all neatly in top loaders and everything like that. I mean, yeah, the, you know, Tim and Tom, you guys should, you guys should link up there. You guys are like the same guy. Just, um, uh, different you know just just half a country apart um sounds good tom appreciate that and uh again um tim meet tom tom meet tim and uh you guys i'm telling you you guys are like uh you guys are cool dudes and uh, i bet you you'd hit it off um i don't know it's just uh i find myself gravitating toward uh you know the people that are just really kind we got we got everybody in here jeff uh jeff's here jeff i always I always feel like I get the answer to the trivia, but I'm not fast enough to get it in. Or if I listen to more clues, um, I've already taken my guests to try to try to take a bite at the apple first to be risky about it. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be better about that. But um, Jeff runs a nice uh, um, uh, trivia every other um, every other weekend, and uh, it's nice. You give out uh, credits and stuff to people like RSR. RSR is going to be going live in about 10 minutes. I, I, you know, I can't wait uh, to get over to that. But, um, yeah, guys, I don't know. I, uh, I'm excited. It's, um, it's cool. It's so weird, like, being at the start of a collection as opposed to, I don't want to say being at the end, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm closer to a, a finish line if there was one for Gary Carter. But there is no finish line for collecting. There's always more. But the stuff that I really need, uh, I shouldn't say need because there's people that need things like food and shelter and stuff. I get it. But the cards that I really want uh, for the collection, they're just so ridiculous to find at this point that I'm lucky if I bump into them periodically. And usually about one or two of them I'll find per year or, you know, one of them maybe I'll find per year. Um, and, uh, you know, you just have to be happy with that. And then there's, uh, you know, the, the bunches I was, I was picking up huge bunches of Gary Carter there for a little bit for like, I could get like 40 of them for like two bucks. Like that was really awesome. And, um, you know, you just get stacks and stacks. And I was really, I love stickers like crazy. So I'm trying to see if I could find some stickers, Messier. I don't know. I just, oh, as a kid, I've always enjoyed stickers. So, um, see if I can get some stickers in here and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, we'll see. This is where the binder is filled to at this point. 
we'll see if we can fill it up maybe by the end of the summer get maybe like 20 pages filled or something like that maybe and um <clears throat> yeah it's exciting so i don't i don't want to think that uh, i abandoned my chat here but um yeah, this is, it's exciting. I appreciate the guys that you, you, you gave me a thumbs up on this. I don't know if I necessarily had anything uh, you know worthy or exciting here going on, but um, certainly that you guys are in here, that makes it fun. And um, <clears throat> so this is something that I can start doing and I can uh, start posting up more about um, posting up some Messier cards now. And um, it's interesting, too, that uh, his career stopped in 2004, so there'll be a lot more modern stuff, um, even though it's, you know, we're closing in on 20 years on the end of a career. But uh, it's a lot different than uh, 1992 being the end of a career for Gary Carter. But, uh, you know, I'm still going to be – Gary Carter's my main focus, um, but uh, we'll just try to, you know, split some time. Uh, no, I appreciate that RSR. And, you know, like I said, I, I feel like I know you guys really well from, from seeing y'all, um, in your stream. Uh, yeah, the waiting is over. I, that's the one thing I want to do. I want to be able to, you know, once this whole thing is over, I want to get to a hockey game. I don't care what hockey game it is. It, 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 even at the Prudential Center to just see maybe a devil's game or something like that. Just go see it. I think it's a great sport to, um, be at, um, I just don't know how feasible it is in the summertime to see a baseball game because they may or may not have crowds and stuff like that. And who knows? And then there's the whole thing about, you know, the virus and everything, you know, what, what's going to go on with it through flu season. Are they going to have the vaccination? You guys know. But once they have the vaccinations and everything going out, I think it'll be a lot more um, um, fluid to go to a game. So I, I'd like, really like to get to a hockey game of some sort on uh, the not too distant future and, uh, you know, get that all going. But, um, yeah, it might be nice too, to maybe get like a Messier jersey or something like that. Um, I got to figure out what size uh, jersey to get too. I always have that problem where it's like, uh, you know, you know, I figured out pretty much in, you know, football jerseys, getting an XL is pretty safe. And I'm, I'm assuming that um, hockey would probably be the same thing. But I think hockey sweaters run big to begin with. So I wonder if that's pressing it or not. But you don't want a tight hockey sweater either. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, this is exciting, guys. I got, uh, got a decent amount of people in here saying hello. And um, – uh, you know, guys I talk to frequently and guys that I uh, haven't seen in a, in, a, in a little bit, but uh, Tim's always commenting on my videos too. So I, you know, I feel like I've seen them uh, recently, but uh, there you go. I'm telling you guys, you email Tim, Tim hooks it up. Um, Tim is uh, Tim's an amazing guy. And uh, yeah, you guys seriously copy down his email. He's a great dude. He's, uh, I'm telling you, you'll be amazed by, um, A, the collection of Tim, and B, the generosity of Tim. So he's, he, I appreciate knowing you, Tim, and uh, the conversations we've had. He's nice. I remember when Avery was with the, uh, was with the Rangers, a little bit outspoken. I kind of appreciated him, though. So, yeah, but um, I, I got I to gotta get more into the swing of hockey and stuff like that. It's just a great it's a great sport to watch. Um, it's really fun. And it's not even about the fast pace of it. I like the slow pace of baseball. I like that it's, you know, it's methodical. But with hockey, there's just, I don't know, it's, it's just a, there's a funness about it. And there's an energy in the crowd that's really fun. And hockey fans, uh, what I think is fun about hockey fans, too, is that there's a greater, what I feel there's a greater mixture between genders in the stands. Uh, at baseball games, I feel like, you get a lot more dudes out there, but you know, again, maybe that's, that's a bit, that, that's a bit much to say because you know, there's couples and everything like that. But when you go to a hockey game, I feel like there's a, a, a great mixture of gender in there too. Like there's a lot of women that are hockey fans and I think that's cool. And uh, when you go to a hockey game, you just feel like there's more of a mixture of people watching than say at a, at a football or baseball game. But again, that's just more of an anecdotal thing. Uh, that's probably not even necessarily true, but uh, I don't know. I, I've always enjoyed that about hockey, that it seems like it's just a little bit more of a, um, a collection of people. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I had I have a ton of Gretzky cards. I was trying to move them uh, to make way for Gary Carter items, but uh, I'm, now I'm trying to move them to see if I can get some Messier items. Um, but yeah, they they. But the ones I have are, are really you know not very expensive ones at all of Gretzky. But um, yeah, I want to be able to see if I can get some uh, you know some Messier going. Um, well, we have about two minutes before RSR goes live, so I want to be able to give some room to Rob and company. 8384, that's a cool set. I actually, uh, I was just showing, I like the 19, was it 1990 or 91 Pro set. This is my favorite set. I always like this set a lot. 1990 Pro set, yeah. I don't know why. I, I remember as a kid getting a box of those cheap. And uh, I don't know. I just really enjoy that set. That's my favorite hockey set. But um, yeah, I want to be able to give some room so that we can all get over to Rob. But uh, I'll, so I'll stop it here and, um, you know, I'll continue showing you guys how that collection grows a lot better than my Gary Carter collection. I can only really do um, updates with my. Uh, Gary Carter collection, but I can do uh, certainly more um, in the moment updates with my Marc Messier collection because it's going to grow. Um, 84, uh, the, the Eisenman, yeah, well, you'd be in a Detroit fan. Tom, I've got a, I've got a box of Detroit I can send you, so that, that's going to look good. Uh, get that out there. Troy Rudder. Oh, you sent it out to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so let me give some space. I think RSR might even be going live right now, but um, anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys, and uh, it's been a pleasure. I appreciate everybody throwing likes on here and uh, stopping in and saying hello, and I'll you know try to do this more frequently. Uh, if I had more subscribers, I can go live from my phone, but I'm stuck doing it from the computer. Uh, plus, I think it's better for my internet feed and the camera might be a little bit better on my computer anyway. Anyway, um, I'll continue this journey trying to lose a little bit more weight. And uh, I guess I'll talk to all you guys next time. If you have any spare Messier, let me know. Uh, see if I could trade you off something, um, get it into your collection. But uh, I'm going to go over to check out RSR right now. I hope that you guys do too. All right. Talk to you all next time. Stay safe and healthy, huh? All right. Best love to you guys and your families. Take care. Bye-bye.